Hello and welcome to my channel. So today we are going to start sprouting some seeds. We're going to try three different kinds and we're going to put them in some cheesecloth. So this is something that I have tried a couple times with sprouts and I really like it. Um, it's so much better than using soil or coconut core or any of those growing mats that um, are kind of hard to clean. I really like using this medium to grow my sprouts in because I with dirt of course it's a lot more messy same with coconut core so when it comes time to clean your sprouts for eating you got all those little particles of dirt to worry about and it's a little harder to harvest them and keep them uh, clean so I really like the cheesecloth so I'm going to show you how to set up a container and we will start three different kinds of sprouting seeds here basically you want to just find a container you can use any kind of these containers that you get from the grocery store from the restaurant this one i believe had some turnovers or something in it from costco so it's got a nice domed lid on it and it's a good size for growing i got like say these three different varieties so all you need to do is take your cheesecloth and i just leave it the thickness that it is when you take it out of the package so it's got a few layers to it but Cut it to size for your container. And you want to make sure that it's good and wet. You can actually wet it down under the tap so that it's fully saturated. I always keep a, a special bottle just for my sprouts because they're going to be eating it. Um, I just use fresh tap water because if you're like me, you have a lot of different spray bottles sitting around the house for different needs. So I just want to make sure that I keep this spray bottle clean and uh, use tap water. So I just ran this cheesecloth under the tap so that it's fully saturated and then we can go ahead with spreading out the seeds. So the three seeds that I'm going to be sprouting today are some arugula, purple kohlrabi and some bok choy. So I'm going to just set them up in alphabetical order in the tray here so I can remember which one is which. So all you need to do is just simply sprinkle them into the cheesecloth fairly thick. And I'm just going to do one third of each type of seed here. Not too worried about it, where they land. So there is the first bunch. You can kind of try to smooth out the creases and spread it around more evenly. The bok choy. Just try to get all these little bits of the arugula into their area here. So. Finally, we got the purple kohlrabi. These are the prettiest sprouts once they get growing. They have such a nice purple stem on them. So I like to enjoy my microgreens uh, in salads and sometimes if you just want to eat a handful just to get a nice good dose of nutrients. They make a good snack. I put them on sandwiches and in my soup sometimes on pizza. Pretty much anywhere they all work. Just going to Fill in a bit more of the bok choy. So there'll be a little bit of crossing over of the sprouts with each other, but it doesn't really matter. Then I'm going to give it a good spritz with the spray bottle. Just so those seeds are well saturated and settled into the cheesecloth. So there they are. And then just to help keep that moisture in, I like to put the lid on it. Sometimes I give it a little 
fritz as well just to create some humidity inside here. So I like to keep these in darkness for the first two or three days until they have sprouted before putting them under the lights. So I'm going to just keep them in darkness by covering them up with a, a dark towel and I keep it on my counter or somewhere nearby in my kitchen so that I don't forget about it and give it a spritz with this water at least twice. So we'll have a look at these seeds here now after two days. You can see that the seeds are starting to swell up and a little bit of sprouting action has started. So I will keep them moist and keep them in the dark for another couple days. I'll just give you a quick look at the rooting system underneath the cloth here. You can see some roots coming and the kohlrabi really has some really strong roots. And here they are after four days in the dark. As you can see each of the sprouts are a bit different size depending on how fast they grow but I think these are ready to go under the grow lights now. They got a pretty good root system. I will be bottom watering them now instead of spritzing them. So I'm going to move them under the lights for the next few days. And here are the sprouts after seven days. They are really growing nicely now. We have a pretty strong root system in the cheesecloth going. As I said, I've been watering them from the bottom. As you can see they are growing probably about two inches now and the purple kohlrabi which has such beautiful stems here they look really pretty in a salad and the bok choy is a little bit slower to grow but it's coming along nicely so it's been 12 days and these sprouts are now ready to harvest so I'm just going to show you here what the root system looks like underneath. So with that cheesecloth, it's really easy just to pull the whole container of roots right out. And they are looking great. So when it's time to harvest, you can do it two ways. You can either cut the roots with a sharp knife or a set of scissors or you can just pull them right out of the cheesecloth. I'm going to start off by just pulling them right out of the cheesecloth. They come out really easy, roots and all. So the roots are okay to eat as well if you choose. It's really quite easy to clean the cheesecloth off really well and get all the roots and little tiny seeds and stuff cleaned off. You could rinse it out and reuse it again to regrow another batch. And another great thing about the cheesecloth is it's 100% cotton, so it's compostable. So once you're done using it, you can throw it right into your compost pile and it'll break down naturally. So I'm also going to try cutting with my sharp knife here. Do be careful if you're using a very sharp knife. But um, it's not quite as clean, obviously, as just being able to pull the sprouts right out of the cheesecloth. But it does work. You don't end up with as much um, harvest at the end. I 
I find the best way to store my sprouts so that they last longer is to just put them into the fridge wrapped up in some paper towel uh, without rinsing them or washing them until you're ready to eat them. If you do choose to rinse them and store them, I just make sure they're really dry and there's no moisture on them. Otherwise they will get a little bit soggy faster. And these sprouts should last in the fridge for up to seven days, I'd say. So usually after I've harvested a batch, I will get another one started so that in a week or so, I have another batch of sprouts ready to eat. So I hope you will give it a try using cheesecloth as a medium to grow your sprouts indoors. If you enjoyed this video, I would love it if you left a comment. Please hit that like button and don't forget to hit subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos. Thanks for watching.